Now, something that's uh, controversial in both Australia and here in the UK is immigration. It's hit the headlines over here once again after an article by a former Labour speechwriter who suggested that back in 2000, the government was politically motivated when it relaxed the rules. Writing in the Evening Standard, Andrew Nether, he worked in Downing Street at the time, said ministers wanted to, quote, rub the right's nose in diversity and render their arguments out of date. Speaking in the House of Commons yesterday, Immigration Minister Fool Willis said, I don't know to whom he is referring or what he is referring to, and that the claims were politically motivated, he said. So let's just take a look at the, at the bold figures, at the headline figures of immigration into this country. These are gross figures, not net figures. In other words, we've just counted those coming in, not those who've also been leaving, and there is a big two-way process. In 1997, when Labour came to power, the annual immigration into the country was 327,000. By 2006, that figure had peaked at 591,000. It's a big increase. The Labour Party's deliberate genocide of the British people. Huge increases in immigration over the past decade were a deliberate attempt to engineer a more multicultural Britain, a former government advisor said yesterday. Andrew Nether, a speechwriter who worked in Downing Street for Tony Blair and in the Home Office for Jack Straw and David Blunkett, said Labour's relaxation of controls was a plan to open up the UK to mass migration. As well as bringing in hundreds of thousands to plug labour market gaps, there was also a driving political purpose behind immigration policy, he claimed. Ministers hoped to change the country radically and rub the right's nose in diversity. But Mr Nether said senior Labour figures were reluctant to discuss the policy, fearing it would alienate its core working class vote. On question time, Mr Straw was repeatedly quizzed about whether Labour's immigration policies had left the door open for the BNP. Writing in the Evening Standard, Mr Nether revealed the major shift in immigration policy came after the publication of a policy paper from the Performance and Innovation Unit, a Downing Street think tank based in the Cabinet Office. The published version promoted the labour market case for immigration but Mr Nether said unpublished versions contained additional reasons. Earlier drafts I saw also included a driving political purpose, that mass immigration was the way that the government was going to make the UK truly multicultural. I remember coming away from some discussions with a clear sense that the policy was intended, even if this wasn't its main purpose, to rub the right's nose in diversity and render their arguments out of date. The deliberate policy, from late 2000 until at least February last year, when the new points-based system was introduced was to open up the UK to mass migration, he said. Mr Nether defended the policy, saying mass immigration has enriched Britain and made London a more attractive and cosmopolitan place. Sir Andrew Green, chairman of the Migration Watch think tank, said, now at least the truth is out, and it's dynamite. Many have long suspected that mass immigration under Labour was not just a cock-up but a conspiracy. They were right. This government has admitted 3 million immigrants for cynical political reasons concealed by dodgy economic camouflage. The chairman of the cross-party group for balanced migration, MPs Frank Field and Nicholas Holmes, said, We welcome this statement which the whole country knows to be true. It is the first beam of truth that has officially been shown on the immigration issue in Britain. Vote BNP, and this madness.